Hello YouTube, it's me Hunter Gunslinger here back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 games of 2017 starting at number 10. Now I'm going to be going down at each game that I feel should be best on this list but we're going to do that one video at a time and coming at number 10 one of my best games for 2017 at number 10 Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Now some of you guys are probably wondering why is Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus at number 10. If you guys want to see more videos of me going down my list, hit that like button down below and subscribe for more content like this. Now the reason why Wolfenstein 2 is coming at number 10 at this point because they really did a good job and they still continue on to their story. Shout out Bethesda, keeping it into single player mode, focus on single player and not too much multiplayer like most of these games out here. Now Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, if you guys didn't check it out, definitely check it out because BJ is back terrorizing the hell of Nazis. It's left from the first one and continue on to the second one and let me just say there's a lot of glory, a lot of bullets, a lot of guns, a lot of machinery, a, you know, a little bit of Hitler in that sense. Now, let me just say right now, some people have some controversies about Wolfenstein New, uh, New Colossus because of how is everything going on with race, diversity, our president of the United States, and how he just like dividing the country, and how Wolfenstein and Bethesda were kind of sending hits and signals at you know our presidents and people got upset the white ring the white nationalists and all that stuff a lot of people were a little upset that you know why would they do some something like this of killing nazis because that's just how wolfenstein is and that's just how bethesda is like to piss off a lot of people when it comes to these games and i really had a fun time with this game now some of you guys might say it should have been a little bit higher on your list but hey fair is fair every game has to get its share and that came at number 10 is one of my favorite games of 2017. Now you let me know what was your favorite game at number 10 and we'll just start a conversation from there. But Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus was a really fun game for me to really play. I really enjoy it. I had fun times with it. There is other packs that you can play like little DLCs, like little story modes and they do have comic books. So you know they still continue on the series. So I really enjoy Wolfenstein 2 at this point. They really really had a fun time. The characters, the old characters, the new characters that they brought into that side of the game I really really enjoyed it now for me personally a lot of people were saying that it was too it was not too like how how I put it it wasn't so gratifying it wasn't so you know glorified like I would say the previous first one now for me personally I don't know what else you want me to do at this point or what else you want me to say at this point because it's like, come on, like they, they still show glorify, they still show that that nastiness, that glorifyingness inside the game. So I just, I just don't understand why people just have to, they have to find little, little details in the game that says that it wasn't the best game. But when you look at it, Wolfenstein 2 was a really good action-packed game of 2017. They did won a couple of awards at the Game Awards. They still got critical acclaim, but a lot of the um, gaming articles and gaming gamers themselves, content creators themselves, including, including me. Uh, Wolfenstein 2 was a really great game. They got 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. So for them to come out number 10, they would be very appreciative of that. And I tell you right now, Bethesda really did a really good job of their single player aspect of their game. I had fun with it. Most of my friends who didn't buy it, you know, like for $60, bought it for like $40 during Black Friday time, said they really enjoyed the game. They really enjoyed the single aspect player of the game. And that's where a lot of people, you know, you know, gaming developers need to be focused on the single player aspect of the game. Because, tell the truth, you know, gaming was made all based off single player. It just got into multiplayer a little bit early in the decades. But single player aspect was the key thing for a lot of gamers and for Bethesda to really stick to that guns and really stick to that true sense was a really good idea and they kind of hinted and kind of like troll some of these game developers and these gaming companies about single player aspect like you have to still keep that type of mode inside a game keep those people coming and Wolfenstein 2 was one of those games it was one of those single player aspect games that I really really enjoyed 
and I was happy for them. And it's one of those games that you don't need internet. So I was really happy for Bethesda to not to have that inside their games. Like you have single player, but you gotta have like an internet connection to play. So shout out to Bethesda for not doing that like everybody else does. You let me know what was your top 10 game of 2017. I will have my top nine game uh, tomorrow, so watch out for that. If you guys do like these type of videos, it's always much appreciated to hit that like button down below and let me know what was your number 10 game of 2017. My name is Hunter Gunslayer, and I will see you guys in the next one.